Oh man, so we need to have a talk everybody because let's face it, Phantom, did I make a mistake? Have I made a mistake investing in Phantom? As you guys know, we've been covering Phantom for a very long time, uh, well into last year in 2021, we were covering Phantom. Uh, and the reality is we've fallen from $3.50 to $1.50 now. And uh, that's more than 50% loss in value here on Phantom. Does that mean I'm now selling my Phantom? Am I going to move on to another altcoin and stop covering Phantom? We're going to cover all of that off in this video. So make sure you hit up the like button if you appreciate these updates. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to check out NordVPN. Links in the description. Get yourself set up on a VPN because whatever investment decisions you make, it makes no difference if you don't have your security in place. Get yourself set up on a VPN. Links in the description. Uh, absolute no-brainer to get yourself set up and the answer to whether i'm selling my phantom is absolutely not guys if you even fell for that intro there it just goes to show how little conviction you may have right like if that got you panicking just listening to that intro where i'm talking negatively because and the reason i did that was we're hearing a lot of this talk around bitcoin today a lot of sentiment around bitcoin of i'm selling if we lose this level at 32 or 36 i'm selling my bitcoin i'm gonna go all cash right i've seen this before guys i've been trading stock for a while we've seen that in stocks in fact we covered that with me kevin did that in stocks just a couple of weeks ago he's gone all into cash but the reality is investing is done over a long period of time and it's in these moments that you need to have resolve and conviction if you've been watching me for a long period of time you know that's probably the most common word i use in my videos is conviction why because i always fall back to that if you don't have conviction an example of that is if you just panic you're thinking oh if fijas are sold i best sold sell too then Maybe that's a lack of conviction, right? You should be like, who cares what he does? I've got conviction in my coins that I've invested in. I watch this for a bit of content, but the reality is I build my own conviction, right? I do my own research. He's taught me how to do my own research. That's how we need to be. And the rhetoric around Bitcoin right now is all around selling. And if you haven't watched my video from earlier today, please pause this, pause this video. Go watch that video. Really important video. I do go on a little bit of a rant in there, but I give you the hope. I give you the light at the end of the tunnel for why Bitcoin is in a perfect situation, a recipe for potential highs. I also share a technical link little pattern as well which we're forming which actually gives us a bullish sign so make sure you go watch that because there's a lot of doom and gloom right now we need to stay positive as you can see people are not interested in crypto right now they're not interested but that's beautiful that's when i want to be interested in right that's when i was building my wealth we go into the charts when do you think i did well on, on phantom as a move right i did well before the hype Look at this cup and handle pattern we were forming i don't know how many of you were watching this when we were doing this pattern but we were buying in very cheap and phantom right? Less than 50 cents, 20 cents, 25 cents, all in this area, dollar cost averaging, getting in phantom low. And then I saw loads of people start watching, right? Oh, people didn't really care as much. Loads of people watching. Green candle disease, loads of people were talking about it. Phantom conference, this, this, views were looking good. People were talking about phantom and then suddenly phantom's rubbish again. And oh, phantom's the next best thing since God, we're going to flip, uh, since bread, we're going to flip Ethereum. Oh, here we go. Oh, we don't care about phantom anymore. We've seen it time and time again. It's kind of boring. Instead, what we need to do is learn to buy in these positions, learn to buy when nobody wants, learn to accumulate, accumulate, build conviction. When others are fearful, we get greedy when nobody cares about bitcoin i love it right when i get worried is when everybody has the same uh, conclusion when everybody says phantom's gonna go to five dollars i go hang on a second if everybody thinks that the market has a funny way of showing you the opposite right then i start doubting myself and i and i do the opposite so what i'm gonna do now is let's tear phantom apart let's see what are the weaknesses of phantom because as investors in any company or any crypto we need to know what are the weaknesses okay and uh, ignoring technicals for a side what are the weaknesses of phantom well the first thing we need to look at is how is the total f total value locked looking and if we look at total value locked we know phantom is a powerhouse right it's grown really well let's head over into phantom we can see we're fifth here on the list we've had a little bit of a cooling down over the last seven days so i'll point that out the last seven days has seen a 10 percent fall in total value locked let's put that as a weakness but overall look at total value locked on phantom since october if you were invested in phantom for just over three or four months you've seen total value locked over 7x okay from 1.37 billion up to over 7 billion and in fact it was over 8 9 billion just a little while ago and no doubt we'll head back to these highs uh very soon as the market starts to pick up 12 billion sorry here in total value locked so total value locked is very very strong right look at the projects let's look at the projects here in phantom you've got massive ecosystem plays and this is where you know i really zoom out 
and build my conviction. Because the market has a funny way of saying, focus on the short term, focus on what's going on in Ukraine, focus what's going on um, in the crisis, what's going on with the interest rate hike that's going to happen in the next uh, 20 20 odd days, right? 24 days times in 24 days time, we'll get our first interest rate hike. How's that going to affect the market? But we need to zoom out and say, hang on a second. We are investing in building Web 3.0. We're building DeFi, NFTs, metaverse plays. We're invested in the fringe of the future, right? The battleground of the future. Imagine if you had the opportunity to do that in Web 2.0. Imagine if you were sat there investing in Facebook, in Instagram, in WhatsApp, in all these things that we use day to day and take it for granted today. Imagine you invested in all those platforms, right? And we had a bit of a dip because some war was going on. Does it matter? Like, no, the internet has seen through so many different pandemics. It's been through so many different earthquakes and, and tsunamis and wars and other things. It continues to survive. And so will Web 3.0. But it's innovation that we have to back. And it's innovation that we're investing in. And the reality is these things are getting built. We're seeing swaps being built, right? Spooky swap. We see paint swap. We see NFTs being built. We see a great amount of activity in DeFi. Look at Beats, Beethoven's massive growth uh, recently. Almost 345 million locked. There's a lot of total value locked here in Phantom. And that's real money and real use cases, even in a crypto winter, right? A bear market. You look at the, you know, the, the, the things that they're building for the future. And that's what should give you confidence. And it's not just for Phantom. All your favorite projects, all your alts should be on the fringe of technology, building things, which when you look at things in three, four, five, six years times, you think that's going to be the norm. I can see the average person investing in DeFi. I can see the average person having some sort of exposure to NFTs. Just like, you know, back in the day, you had people saying, oh, no way is so-and-so going to use uh, social media. Everybody in some way, shape or form is using social media now, right? That's just how it is. It'll be the same for NFTs. Even these people who say, oh, NFTs is worthless. They just don't understand it yet. Or they're thinking about just crypto punks and bucketing that whole thing as NFTs. It's not. NFTs is a concept. It's a utility. It's putting, you know, things on the blockchain. It's an application of ultimately blockchain technology. And so is cryptocurrency as a whole. And so when you start reminding yourself that these are the narratives that we're investing in, then you can't help but to be bullish and you can't help but to see that these are crazy discounts we're seeing on some amazing paradigm shifting companies right that we are fortunate enough to invest in and yes the reality is with any innovation you have the risk of losing your money there was the dot-com bubble there were companies that never made it to being apple or to being facebook but then success is not guaranteed there's no fortune tellers we just get the ability by being in these countries where we're fortunate enough to invest in these companies and these platforms well with crypto you can be anywhere which is the beauty of it to invest in the future, right? To invest in these platforms that can be the giants and can create innovation for everybody to use. And that's what I'm investing in. So when people say, oh, but Cardano's overvalued, there's no total value lock just yet, it's gonna come because I can see that they're building things the right way. And if you're building, the wealth follows, the stock price follows, the crypto price follows. It's just how it works, okay? So in these moments when everybody's making you feel down, when you're looking at the chart pattern and it's red day after day after day and there's no hypes on the YouTube channels and everything is looking gloomy, you don't really wanna look at your portfolio. If you've got some money, dollar cost average in your high conviction plays. If you have weak plays, which you really shouldn't be holding on, the ones that, when I'm giving this whole monologue right now, you're going, yeah, but kind of Shiba's not really doing that for me yeah, then those are the plays you need to be rotating out of if you have any meaningful cash in those plays. If you have cash to DCA in, go ahead and DCA in high conviction plays. If you're out of cash, make sure you don't have any low conviction plays. Use that to put into high conviction plays. And then go find yourself some more income, guys. This is it. Every single pound or dollar you can go and put into crypto now, you know, everything is 30, 40, uh, 30, 40% of the price it was right? So every pound is going two to three pounds or two to three dollars. So if you can expect, you know, spare that expense on something and put it into crypto right now, that wardrobe which you were going to buy, think of it as 3x the price that it's actually going to cost you, right? Buy that in a bull market. Buy that when everything's looking great. Right now, we need to be in a high conviction place because this is an opportunity that might not come at these levels again. This may be the last time that Bitcoin goes down to test 30,000. And look, we may go down to 20, right? We may lose the next levels, but let's take this step by step. Let's see if we don't rebound at 36. Let's see if we don't rebound at 32. Then we've got 29 to look for. And if we lose 29, that's our lower low. That's when things get a little bit more scary. And then we'll play that step by step because you guys know I'm here with you every day, giving you updates. So if you appreciate that, make sure you're hitting the like button and you're subscribing. Don't forget to check out NordVPN. Links in the description. Get yourself set up on a VPN. 
absolute basics, guys. We need a VPN setup. I use NordVPN every single day, whether it's on my phone, whether it's on my tablet, whether it's on my PC here making sure that I'm logged in whenever I go into my exchanges, whenever I'm using any of the metaverse or any of my wallets, okay? So super important that we do that. As always, guys, what I'm going to do is in this end of this video, I'm going to link up here uh, some end cards to two important videos. One is the uh, one rule. Make sure you go watch that. And then the other one is you've been investing in crypto all wrong. Really important that we go and watch those videos. And the reason I'm diverting you to these specific videos in this time is now it's time to double down on psychology. Now it's time to really understand how my, our minds and how it can trick us into making irrational decisions. So go watch those videos, build your convictions in your favorite place, continue to research your favorite cryptos, and just make sure that you're steadfast. Nobody can make you waver on your decisions to invest in your favorite place. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe. See you in the next one.